There we go. Been uh, finished homicide. Completed homicide. So that's good. Turns out everybody we caught was uh, the wrong person. So, but I think we knew that. But we got the black dahlia or dahlia. It's got an H in it, so it should be dahlia really. But dahlia, dahlia. Anyway. Uh, Yeah, but it turned out the perp, or the Black Dahlia, was uh, Illuminati. So that's all been swept under the carpet and we don't get any credit. But we've been promoted to Vice. Which is a shame, because I was quite enjoying okay, getting used to Rusty. had quite a, quite a good to and fro going there with him. And now I suspect we're going to be partnered with that... Uh, I don't know what his name is actually, the guy in the pink pink jacket, two-tone pink jacket. I might as well get changed actually, I might as well change the outfit. Uh, anyway, without further ado, I don't like the guy, but let's go and find out. I didn't really like Rusty to start with, so you never know. Let's go and find out. Phelps, welcome to Vice. This is your new partner, Roy Earl. Take a seat. Yeah, him. <laughs> a special request was made to transfer you to add Vice. We need a man with your kind of starch on this desk, son. We have two dead Negroes found in an apartment this morning on Yucca Street. Number 6358, apartment 5. We got better things to be doing than wasting our time on two dead junkies. Did I ask your opinion, detective? Two men dead on U.S. Army issue morphine. That makes it an advice case. Beat it. Yes, sir. Hey, yeah, Roy. Both fit through the door. Cool. You and the lieutenant have some history? You could say that. We used to be partners. So, you're working with the big boys now, Cole? I guess so, Roy. I thought homicide was the primo assignment. That may be the case. I asked for you personally, Phelps. I had to pull a few strings to get you over to advice. How does it feel? Oh. The lieutenant seems to think I'm doing okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't get humble on me, Phelps. You're doing great. You're the department pinup boy. War hero and crime fighter. What a combination. Indeed. I can assure you I'm no war hero detective. What if I got Let's some hop heads. Oh, we got a new car though, so that's uh, interesting. Is it a new car or is it just the same? I can't remember what that is, but is it a Lincoln? <laughs> oh, we'll find out. Tell us now, won't it? Just get on just with it. Just you wait. Cadillac Series 62 convertible. It's quite a nice Jeep. Music. Right, so yeah. Nice car, Roy. Is it department issue? No, this is my sled. You can't be seen slumming it in a Nash if you're in Vice Call. <laughs> should have should have driven Roy, not let me drive. Let's go. Don't think twice, just do it. Probably won't work. We just, oh god, it's <laughs> good timing. We just hit the ramp and boosh. Right, yeah. Well, that was a bit of a disappointment. Oh shit, I'm stuck. That was a bit of a disappointing outcome. I honest. hope you got some money saved up. So you should have driven, pal. In doubt, go the furthest one away. Uh. Carruthers. Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Oh, Two we got changed anyway. Overdosed. I didn't do that. Been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. 
The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product, and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. We are supposed to uphold the law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? <laughs> I don't really want to be a vice cop, so... Oh, blimey, here we go. I've not done this for a while. Uh, well, I suppose at him first, we're facing him. Crikey. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. Yeah. Because he also was dead. Okay, no. Was there another one? I think I've seen it all. One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. These clowns lived on popcorn? Must have been messy eaters. It's all over the floor. Okay. Oh. <laughs> These features. No. Oh. Oh, nothing. Thank you. Ah, uh, I haven't seen that. <clears throat> tap, tap. <laughs> they say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. 25, so what was he, 22? You catch all the good ones, Phelps. Can we have a look at the money? Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? Hmm. Well, one of them's a musician, didn't he say? A two-bit horn player, isn't it? I think that was this guy. Although I can't remember. We need to look at his arm. Just when I think I've seen it all. Oh, we do. Looks like it was always going to end this way. Got attacked by a three-toothed vampire or something. Obviously. Uh, right, so let's investigate some clues. Catch all the good ones, Phelps. Some kind of fruit, a bell, and win. Strange doodle. I'm sure it will be relevant. Keep your eyes out for a fruit machine. Or keep my eyes out for a fruit machine. See what his favourite piece of music is. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. Find mm. anything interesting? No. <laughs> Spent ages looking at completely irrelevant still. Can we look at that top letter now? I know this is irrelevant. Oh, no, it's not irrelevant. Black Caesar. From the joint across the street. Was taped to the bottom of the cup. You keep saying weird little things. Oh, right, so he's been getting his gear. A bit heavy for an empty cup. They've been getting their fix right over the counter in broad daylight. Flies. Oh, I didn't see that. Tap, tap. 
Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. Okay. A small chance in life is probably Find better anything than no interesting? chance. <laughs> Do I talk at the same time? I keep saying it anyway. I'm not looking at that. The Why? emperor across the street appears to shift a oh, lot of popcorn. Let's shake him down. Oh, where are you off? <laughs> where are we going? Oh, sorry. All right, then. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so look at the port cabin. Help you. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. We're inquiring into the deaths. Hand over the popcorn, numbskull, before we kick the door in. Don't run. Come on. Get that man. son of a bitch. Well, this is why he asked for me as a partner, isn't it? Because he doesn't like doing anything. And he'd heard from Rusty that. Stay on him. While I was his partner, Rusty didn't do have to do squat. Like, I knew you were going to do that. Yeah, Rusty didn't have to do squat while I was his partner. Just sit around smoking and drinking all day. I assume I'm going to have to beat this guy up at some point. To try not to lose my hat. See if I can do the no hat was challenge. Get eaten first or get into tap tap range. See not coming, you pick the wrong cop, you fucking animals. <gasps> All right, if you really want to dance. Oh, right, I know. I'm gonna beat you, black. No, you don't. What's your name? Morgan. That wasn't a very good fight. Half but... an answer is no answer to me, asshole. Fleetwood Morgan. Keep an eye on him, Roy, while I take a look around. Shoot him if necessary. Keep very oh. still, Fleetwood. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. <laughs> that was a very weird look, so he's going to shoot him anyway. Or as he knows of it. See, I don't trust this other guy. Box of eggs. It's gonna be nothing in it but eggs. Doesn't tell me anything. No, it doesn't tell us anything. Morphine. Might not be filling, but I'm sure it's satisfying. Can you well there's no only evidence we need, really. Obviously not, I have a suitcase full of money. Oh. It doesn't appear to be connected. It should be stamped on the reverse by the issuer. Let's turn it over then. Maybe Morgan can give us something on this Jones character. Oh. Why would he? These number slips might affect your tone, Fleetwood. There's some sort of illegal racket going on. Stand or that kind of thing. 
We're inquiring about the deaths of two men in an apartment across the street, Fleetwood. We want answers. Of course. I'll do my best, mister. You sold the drugs to Cornell Tyree <laughs> and Tyrone <laughs> Lamont. Oh, I sell... I, I sell fried steaks and, 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 and black eyed peas. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously not. I mean, obviously not. I've got the. I don't know. Make sure first. Okay, surely that's what I need, isn't it? See, You're lying, Fleetwood. We know that you supplied them. I don't know nothing about no drugs. All I do is my ten hair flipping burgers. Can you prove any different? Are you stupid? I suppose you're not gonna. Oh, I don't know. Don't press the wrong one. Flipping burgers Please. and strapping jolts of morphine to the bottom of popcorn cups, Fleetwood. Now I want the truth. Who supplies the drugs? A cat by the name of Armstrong Edwards. He brings the stuff around about once a day. I know Armstrong. He's a two-bounce, strictly small time. Who's he working for, Fleetwood? Jermaine Jones. <laughs> Jermaine Jones. We have you for the hop and resisting arrest. It's not the music. Tell though. us about the numbers if you want our help. Look, the numbers are the white man's tax on poor folk. All right, now, now what else you want to know? It's been smug, so I'm going to be. I don't know. I haven't got anything on. Uh, that was bad copy. Bad copy. We have an address on the slips. Huh. We're going to go down there now and rat you out, Fleetwood. Tell whoever it is that you rolled over and gave them up. No, 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 no. Look, I've been cooperative, okay? Now you gotta help Wait, me, I'm... son. Fleetwood, I'm gonna speak personally to the judge on your behalf. A name, Fleetwood. Look, he's, he's a real slick dude. Wears a hat and swings a cane. Goes by the name of Merlin. All right, I ain't got a last name. See you at the station, Fleetwood. Mm. Wait, you're gonna help me, right? Of course, kid. You helped us out. We always like to repay a favor. Did you see that Fleetwood gets a nice cell, Wallace? One with a window and a nice fresh pillow. Right, I still not worked out why some phones are white and some are blue. Perhaps it's these are public phones and the others are police phones. Operator, give me R and I. I need an address on a Jermaine Jones musical booking agency. Oh, right, yeah. Just a moment, detective. Jermaine Jones. The office is listed as 5528 Santa Monica Boulevard. Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks for your help. Who's that? Cheryl something. Uh, Cheryl Crow. Uh, I can't remember. It's not Cheryl Crow, is it? Maybe offer me a cigarette now. God, that guy wasn't stopping, was he? <laughs> Mow me down. You get in the vehicle or you just be weird and follow me around. Yeah. It's Jermaine Jones musical fucking age. Here we are. Jermaine Jones, two thirty-eight. Acoustic on. Anyway, uh how about really in? What was it? Two thirty eight? Hey, who let you in? Uh, a couple of gouching brothers. Jermaine Jones, don't bother getting up. Your flunky Fleetwood Morgan just snitched you out. I wasn't planning to. Now you think you could tell me who the hell you are? LAPD. We'd like to take a look around. The hell you will, motherfucker. <laughs> you carrying a warrant? No, do we need one? Ah. Uh. Search the place, Cole. 
What do you think you're gonna find, policeman? Huh? Is this? <laughs> we'll find some smack. Oh no, it's uh, uh what is it? Calendar. Army surplus. You ain't food. allowed to do this. I got rights. Oh, trash! It was Batman. I didn't know I could do that. It's never happened before. Scott Phantom. Fine radio. Short wave AM and FM. My father has a Scott. What? Am I supposed to be doing something here? Cool. Did they have FM back in 1947? I suppose it did. So I don't know if it would be public radio, though, would it? Well, it's America, so it probably did. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh! <laughs> What a bizarre little side game. Although it's slightly weird that the inter Oh! Oh! <laughs> no wonder this thing is sounding a little muffled, Jermaine. Brennan! Wilt! Get over here! Take these assholes apart. Oh, I thought they were asleep. You heard the boss. <laughs> Oh crikey, here we go, right, okay. I don't remember what to do. Square Is this defense. The best you got? Alright. You really want to dance. Come on! Sit tight, asshole. Oh, that was quite easy. Pretend you're at the parlor getting your nails done. Cole, you better search through that stuff in the radio before you brace our friend here. I suppose so. Interrogate Jermaine Jones. That's not a load of weed. <laughs> Too much for felony possession. I'm thinking intent to supply. I don't know. I don't know. You know? You could just be planning for the future. I just, well, it's not a massive amount, is it? It's quite a lot, but it's not a massive amount. I mean, that's obviously supplying, obviously. But if I had that much, I probably wouldn't be supplying. Not that I would have that much. Or any. <laughs> Your friend Fleetwood was also a betting man, Jermaine. I see, I don't really understand all that, so I don't know what that's about. I don't really... I assume gambling's illegal and whatnot, but... This must be how those two bums standing guard take their wages. Yeah, and why they weren't very good at fighting. Although he did knock me hat off. I've not got through a fight without losing my hat yet, so... Well, it's quite pleasing me radio discovery, isn't it? How many starving musicians pay with perfect clean 50s? I was just tuning the radio thinking it was a fun side game. So listening, they could find a decent radio station. I bet that doesn't come out on the, the recording, thinking about it. Yeah, that's a point. That was really cool, it might not work in the recording though. JJ always listens to two sets. I can't believe I just fluked that. I just did that by accident. <laughs> Hang on, just before I just talk to him, do I get to see that again? No, I can't see it again, but yeah. Uh, I thought it was odd that it was an FM, but perhaps there was FM. Lamont and Tyree are dead. At a stretch, the DA could have you on felony murder for supplying stolen government... Tyrone and Cornell are dead. Hmm. They're on a slab downtown with the ME examining their last meal. Popcorn washed down with morphine. You offering me a deal? No. I have a pet judge who hates blacks. He'll give you 50 years for your two buddies. Another 30 for stealing from Uncle Sam. You'll be out by the time you're 110. Imagine the changes you'll see. 
I get the message. How much is this going to cost me? All oh, right, well. It's going to cost you a, an interrogation, I'm afraid. Who supplies the morphine? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, bollocks, man. You've got it, haven't you? You've got some. Haven't you? I suppose he could argue he doesn't know anything about it. But he has got some. They weren't here. Yeah. So we make you for all of it. You're the fall guy from Mickey Cohen. In case you haven't noticed, I'm a colored man. You see any Jew boys running around here? I collect my cut. Lenny the Fink controls the action. Lenny who? Lenny Finkelstein, Mickey's dipshit brother-in-law. Uh oh. All right, cool, get that right. Nice. We've got some info, info out of it. What is the link between the morphine and the numbers slips? There is no link. You're wasting your time here. Uh, well, it's obviously... So there's no point using intuition, is it? Because he's obviously not good cop. We're not going to good cop him. Lying to me, Jones. Ugh. Tell me about Merlin. Who? I don't know anyone named Merlin. Yes, you do, because he. Him. Yeah. Fleetwood Morgan will testify that you and Merlin are expanding out of illegal gambling and into drugs. Okay. So I buy from a cat goes by the name of Merlin cat. Hardy. Merlin runs the lottery for the Jew boy. The Fink has a new line in drugs. You squeal me out, I deny ever telling you. Tell us about Adi. Adi's a gambler. Fronts points on football games, fights, the horses, numbers. Chicken crossing the road. Motherfucker will take the odds on anything. Alright, cool. Nice. Oh, right. Oh. Ramez removals. They must have taken special care delivering this for you. Oh, what did that say? Find the address or something? Well, we've done everything else, haven't we, in there? Are we still stood there? Oh, what we talked to? Oh, we've got another one. Well, What's the it. score with Ram as removals? I brought back. a radio from there. That's all. Uh, for a second I believed you, but now I don't. Uh, back up. So when we visit Ram as removals and tell them that we want a special bookcase or wardrobe to hide our dope in, they're going to be copacetic. And when we tell them their good friend Jermaine sent us and said they could do a nice deal for the LAPD. I could use an act like you two. Those fucks Abbott and Costello are on the slide. Hollywood could use another couple of deeply unfunny white bread humps like you. Very good, Jermaine. You have character. Now cough it up. Ramez is a good friend of Lenny the Fink. You getting the picture? Take them all in. We have a deal, right? We're after the morphine. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. You have my word. Numbers, Operation Ramirez, removal of Ramez removals. 
Oh, right, we need to get a phone. Oh, there we go. Very convenient. <laughs> She's over there. Ramez removals, corner Sunset and Wilton. Owned by a Jose Victor Ramez. Thanks. So Mickey uh, Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the army surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, Detective. Oh, it's interesting actually, it's a new new place, I've not driven around here really, so... It's different, so, oh look, there's Hollywood. Hollywood land. Well, the Hollywood signs, as though we're in Hollywood. Copacetic, we're gonna have to find out what that means. <laughs> After me, oh, thank you. Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. The name's Merlin Odie. I run a strictly legitimate bookmaker's detective. So that's not an illegal wire service that your colleagues are running? And the number slips that I've been picking up all morning with this address on them have nothing to do with you? I pay my kick to the WAPs, and they pay their cut to the LAPD. You can't go shaking me down. You're a loudmouth motherfucker, aren't you? <laughs> Anyone ever tell you the criminals are supposed to keep their mouths shut? Stay where you are while we look around. I could do with practicing me boxing, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cohen took over the wire service from Siegel, right? So what are they doing? What is that? <laughs> Or oh, fruit machine. I remember there's something to do with that and there's something about that in there. Right, okay. So this is in me clues, isn't it? Strange doodle. Jerry Belwin. Jerry's Belwin. No, it's Cherry's Bell. There we go. What do we do again? Huh? Oh, is that not doing anything? Cherry's Bell, win. Oh, come off it. Oh, what? What? Damn, I stupid. I just stupid. I thought, stupid. I thought I'd held that on win. It's about to be on seven. There we go. Haha. Uh oh. It's got the no. Trouble, Merlin. With this quantity, we're looking at a high-level trafficking charge. Thanks for the paper trail, Merlin. Top tap. I think Ramez's place is our next stop. Okie dokie. Oh, that's quite a win for a dime, Merlin. You better God start talking. Damn it. Oh, he's off. Get after him, Phelps. What do you mean, get after him? Give it up, Artie. Hmm, help me, Ray. I'm going to have to shoot him or is it going to be a tap-tap? 
Oh, box. Oh, he's got a knee. This place. So, I got... you gonna see your married man again? Stop right there, Adi, or I will shoot! He's here, isn't he? <laughs> all right, all right, relax, motherfucker, you got me. Nice wand, Merlin. Too bad you couldn't pull off your vanishing act. Make your joke, smart guy, but don't damage that. That there's a valuable antique. You don't say. Maybe you ought to have a look at this, Cole. Uh, is it a sword cane? Or is it like a giant, giant syringe? Mr. Adi has Six. Jose Ramez in his pocket. Jose. Ramez must have forgotten his lucky numbers. But I owe you from Jose Ramez. Jose Ramez. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to calculate the odds on you going to prison for a very long time, Merlin? I'm not going chamber. nowhere. I paid my contributions, and I'm not getting hustled by you. We're only interested in morphine. Army surplus morphine. What do you have to say about that? I heard about that. Big robbery on the ship. Ain't my line of work. I prefer something with a sporting outcome. Surely you noticed that I just went through your... Whatever it was. Fruit machine thing. Finkelstein is, but what he is running jokes for him. You distribute for Lenny Finkelstein. You're a patsy for those gangsters. I don't know what you're talking about. I distribute for the LAPD, motherfucker. Uh. Jermaine Jones gave you up as his supplier. He says that you're Lenny's sissy and that you'll do whatever Lenny tells you. Me? That nigga's a dead man. I moved the dope Jose brings me. Jose Ramirez, I ran a clean numbers rack until those two motherfuckers went into the dope business. Okay. Ramez seems to owe you a lot of money. We all owe somebody. Hmm. Alright, that was quick. Uh... Right, so he's looking me in the eye, so he's telling the truth. It's not good cock, it's truth. Truth. So it has nothing to do with the proceeds of the morphine shipment? It's a gambling debt. The heaps took over the wise service and screwed me. Now I just do what I'm told. Heaps. Run numbers and ship dope. Jose's no different. He just thinks he's a big man that can run up tabs. You're not the guy we want, Merlin, but we're taking you in. Maybe some time in a cell will help you remember something worthwhile. Fuck you, and fuck you. You'll never put a charge on me. Take this bum in. Take the long way around. And don't be gentle with him. You got that? Yes, sir. <laughs> right, yeah, so anyone place to go? Oh, what? Well, see, the flag moves. Yeah, it's our old war buddy, Courtney LAPD. Sheldon. LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? You missed him. Oh, he was in goes. the delivery truck. Just went out. God oh. damn it. Yeah, you jackass. You should have told us. Off we go. 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 
11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. I'm sure we don't need backup for this. Roger, 11K. Hit him! Clear this asshole off the road! No, you what does this him. lunatic think he's doing? Get your gun out, you jackass. Here comes the cavalry. We're not playing around here. Take this clown off the road. Uh. Get out of the way, you bastard. There we go. <laughs> See, they're just going to get in the way, aren't they? They're not gonna help I can't at all. take the shot from here, Cole. He's going left onto Hollywood. Get alongside there him and go. take him out. Well, you've just incriminated yourself terribly, I'm afraid, Ramez. Ramez. Give it up, LAPD! Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey, hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there? That was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're gonna take a look around inside. I'm not a big fan of him. He's a spammy bastard, isn't he? Oh, God. Well, what? Oh, I wander around a maze trying to find something. What's with stuff. the puddle? Where's he been delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Uh, repeat business. Uh, Polar Bear Ice Company. Tap, tap. Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Merlinotti. Merlinotti is buying a lot of furniture. Yeah. Oh, there's a newspaper. Icky Cohen. Bugsy Siegel. Right, okay, so, uh, yeah, my old war buddies, Courtney Sheldon and Jack Kelso. And they get themselves into grief with Mickey Cohen, by the look of it. Apparently Jack Kelso. <coughs> Jack Kelso. Somebody I didn't really get on with in the army, apparently, or Cole didn't get on with in the army, apparently. He's now the DA. I think. I wouldn't be surprised if I got that wrong. But, uh, yeah, and Courtney Sheldon's the one who's been supplying military red morphine to the mob. Shocking developments. Been around here, that's why I got back here so quickly. But, uh, perhaps, <laughs> right, that's why I've got to move the crane. Hook it up. Or use the crane. There's a crane to use. I couldn't work out what it was I was supposed to be using it for. I think I never know.
slipping their hand down there. <laughs> Turn the car, drop, oh quick, here we go, drop one on him. Oh, I can't do it, he's underneath it. Get down here, there's a cold room in the back. Oh, you've just discovered that, have you? Yeah, yeah. Good police work. There's something frozen inside. Morphine, probably. The look of it. Mountain. Excellent. Hey. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Same stuff. This must be how they transport the morphine. Oh, nice. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Catching red handed. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. I'm wide open here. Give me some goddamn cover. Oh. Well, I took one, but at least, uh... That was actually my best bit of shooting, I think. And just emptied a clip in his vague direction. <laughs> Take tactic. them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bears. Oh, oh what was the more to do? Is Audi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little, let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize hop, Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? The factory is closed. It has been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. Oh, wait. How many janitors carry a gat? <laughs> ha That's one way of announcing we're here. He's good, this guy, ain't he? Oh, Give right, it up, here we Finkelstein. Go. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. And it's the electric chair. This building alive. Eyes open. He's around here somewhere. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. I haven't worked out guns at all. There are other guns, but I never get any to pick up or anything. Your move, mister. Come get me. <laughs> open I'm wide door. open here. You're fucking toast! Throw out the guns! Clear me some space here! You're fucking
fucking toast. Weapons on the ground now. Oh, he's really what the shit. Hell is the Give me some goddamn cover. Kill these assholes already. I got you now, motherfucker. I'm wide open here. Oh, shut up. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. I ain't running out of friends or guns in here anytime soon. Understand? Let's go. Oh. Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Are you trying to get yourself killed? <laughs> Find some cover! You're covered, Phelps. Keep moving. What was the stairs? How long do you think you can hold out? Take cover, you lunatic. I'm wide open here. Where, where are we supposed to be going then? Oh, well, there's a, there's a ladder. Is that a chest there? Is he here? They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up. Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Well, I didn't shoot once then. Let's have a look around. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet. What happened to me shot, but anyway. I think I've had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Oh, well, there we go. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is gonna make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Fine by me, but. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. Well, that won't please him, will he? He's an arrogant son of a bum. Son of a bum. Son of a gun. Let's take it off the end. A nice one. Oh, right. Oh, bollerous. Well, there wasn't that much. Well, I suppose there was a bit, wasn't there? Quite a long one. The death of Lenny Finkelstein. Stein, Stein. Stein. Yeah, Finkelstein. Should keep administrative advice in the headlines for now. Anyway, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, took quite a while. Died more times in that than I have in the entire game so far, although I'll edit them out. <laughs> or most of them. Anyway, good stuff.